Hey, welcome back once again, ROS 2998. We have another crate, as we have said, Pro Wrestling Crate. This is the one that comes out of Chicago. Middle of the month. Not expensive. Uh, it's very affordable. Um, but we're back in the saddle to do another one. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Awesome. All right, man. I'll tell you what. While you cut this thing open, and this remember, guys, this is the month, month of August still. We're a little bit behind. You've got to cut that open. Um, but we'll get there. Like I said, we'll eventually get there. Um, as I said in the video just before this, Bring out more of the blade. Bring out more of the blade. There you go. As we make these videos, you'll understand that at the uh, uh, end of December, we say goodbye to uh, High Spots videos and uh, or High Spots merchandise. Um, man, I really am going to miss them, guys. But we say goodbye to them and we say hello January to the WWE. They're doing their own uh, uh, shirt club. So. That's going to be pretty fun to, to, to check out and what have you. Um, put that down so you don't nobody sees it. Let me throw that over here. Throw it over here. This way it's out of your way. There we go. Perfect. All right. That's the cheat sheet. But I tell you what, before you get going on, let me tell you what's on the next, next month's cheat sheet. It says this is our August crate. <clears throat> on the other side is a spoiler. But <clears throat> next month's crate features Matt Cardone, which you know who that is, don't you? Okay, Brian Myers. That's that's uh, um um one is a woo woo man. What's it? Uh, what's his name? Zach, Zach Ryder. Yep. And the other one is is his little buddy. Um, how are we talking about? Kurt him? Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins. There you go. We got Hornswoggle, Mark Sterling, plus an item for Kerry Von Erich, Joey Janela, Sabu, the Road Warriors, Adam Bomb, and Colt Cabana. That's going to be our September crate. Um, and it says each of them are, are, you know, they get something for their merchandise being in this. But we're not going to show you the other side because that's the, the cheat sheet. We don't do that. Right. All right, let's go start with our t-shirts, brother. All right, first off, we got... Who is that? Oh, oh, I know who that is. John Moxley. John Moxley. There we go. You hold that side, I'll hold this side. There you go, the Mox. What's it say here? I can't read that. Can you read that over there on the side? Her, her vor. Oh, a violence. Conveyor violence. It's a nice shirt. I like that. What do you think? That is awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Nothing on the back. Nope. So that's a good one. Good one. Let us start out with uh, Pro Wrestling Crate, obviously. You know, they always send out great shirts. They, you know, they got their, their tease company, so that's always good. What's that? It's a poem by Lanny Poffo. Lanny Poffo. Leap and Lanny. You know who that is? I've heard the name. Okay, on the WWE, he was the genius. Okay. Macho Man's brother. Oh, really? Yeah, Leap and Lanny Poffo. Okay, a pro wrestling tease, a poem from Leap and Lanny Poffo. The genius knows pro wrestling tease is seldom just shooting the breeze. They're taking the locks off their mystery box unless someone misplaces the keys. Leap and Lanny Poffo. Here's this poem that he... Uh, Throw out there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that's Macho Man's brother. Yep, yep, yep. Go back on on, on uh, YouTube and and go and look at you know put, put in there Leap and Lanny or just Lanny Puffo, the genius. And you'll be like, wow. And and he does not remind you nothing, nothing of Macho Man. Oh really? Totally two different day and night. Yeah. So, that's what else we got? We got a genius. Oh, the genius. The yeah, Lanny Puffo. Yeah, it goes with the poem. Well, right on. I like that. That's a pretty cool shirt, though. Yeah. I can almost see myself wearing that. I just take the lady puff off, and people think that I'm the genius. <laughs> How I feel about that? All right, man. That's that's uh, number two. Like I said, they got pro wrestling tees. This company does. So they make some kit shirts. They really do. Right. I would say worse, but I'm not going to say it. We, Next. We got a micro brawler, Lex Luger. Oh, good. It ain't Lee Pilani. <laughs> Turn a little bit to get a little glare there. No, turn. There you go. Whoa, right there. Maybe just a little bit more my way. There you go. No glare. I like that. Let me see that one. Flexi Lexi. Look at him. What are they right away? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it says here, cut, cut me out. Collect all the cards on the back. So they're like little playing cards, it looks like, of some sort. I never take them out of here, so I don't know. I don't... I'm not one that does stuff like that. Next. All right, looks like we got 
Oh, like a little Brutus Beefcake oh. Combing Kit. Yes. Let me see that. Maybe we might just have to open that. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I want to. Mm, I don't know if I want to. Well, you know what? I'll open this part of it. We we'll probably look inside here. Ah, you know what? Do you got scissors over there? I do. I think you have some scissors, don't you? Let me cut that sucker real quick. We'll just cut a little piece of this off here. And we'll uh, go ahead and check it out real fast. Otherwise, you know, what good is it to have it if you ain't going to... Man, these things can't cut for crap. Uh, what good is it if you ain't going to at least look at it? You know, look at it inside. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Bruce Barber Beefcake Grooving Kit. Oh, look at this. Oh, right on. Right on. Okay, let me show you. I thought for sure it'd be something to do with scissors, you know, because, you know, he's the, he's the barber. But no, it's a... Uh, yeah, like fingernail clippers and little scissors and, and uh, tweezers and a nail file. And well, I don't know what the rest of that stuff is. I, I You know, I know it's a couple of the scissors and the fingernail clippers, the file and the tweezers. I don't know what those two things do. Maybe those are his burglar tools. Yeah, maybe. And that's how he breaks into places. I don't know. I really don't know what they are, but... Anywho, that's pretty cool. What do you think? I like that. Yeah, that is awesome. We'll, we'll put it back in a plastic bag and try to add it up here. But All right, next. We got a Nasty Boys uh, wrestling pins. Oh, the Nasties. <laughs> and they lived up to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as they did. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. That is all right. Next. Then we got... A comic book. Oh, Critical those are Botch. awesome. I like their comic books. Who is it? Critical Botch. The... Let's see here. Critical Botch is based on the Dungeons and Dragons game played by Brandon I can't, Cutler, I think. Yeah, yeah Cutler. As, the, as the Dungeon Master. Colt Cabana as... Ark? Ork? Hafton? Halfington? Yeah. Wow. Leva Banks as Lorelei Onessa. I think we're going to have to I, you know, just get into the game, or into the comic book to understand what they're talking about. And then it's by Valente. Oh, okay. Orange Cassidy. And wow. Yeah. Chuck Taylor. Peter. Cabana. It got all kinds. It says, it says, uh, Critical Botch is created by AEW Pro Wrestlers. That's, there you go. So now we know. Let me, let me throw this up real quick to show them a couple of pages real fast. That's a decent one. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know what? Every time you get comics from any of these wrestling crates, they got great artwork. Good good storylines. I mean, these guys should be writing for, for wrestling, you know, because they do so well. They really do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool, man. I can't wait to, to read this one. I got so many comic books I need to get read and... And, and, you know, I'd, I'd like to take time to review them and maybe even make a video about reviewing them. But then again, I probably wouldn't do that because I'd bore people as it is. But anyways, yeah, there you go, buddy. That looks cool. I like that. That is awesome. <clears throat> what do we got next? Um, that is it. Really? Yep, we What's in the envelope? That might be an autograph guy. Yeah, that might be. No, 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 no. It should be open already. Aren't they open? Yeah, they're right there. You got it. There you go. Who is it? A lot of suspense here, buddy. Oh, who is that? Look at him. That's Kurt Hawkins. Exactly. There you go. Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins autograph picture. Yes, I like that. And here's your authenticity down there, showing that he signed it. No. When they first came out to WWE, they were with Edge. Was that yeah, I believe Edge? I believe you're right. That's it. That should be all of this is in there. All right, man. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to give you the cheat sheet. You're going to go down the list. I'm going to show it one more time, and we'll box it up and get ready to move on to the next one. What do you think? Okay. All right, man. Let me let me get this here. Ah. Turn it over and start reading off the very top all the way down. Purveyor of Violence John Moxley t-shirt. Okay, hold on. Give me just one second. I'll roll, throw that up so people can see it. You read it, I'll show it. How's that sound? Show and tell. There we go. This is show and tell, brother. I like that shirt. I really do. That's an awesome shirt. I really like John Moxley's. Yeah, any of his shirts are good. Next. 
the genius Lanny Pofo. Pofo. Pofo t-shirt. There you go. Lanny Pofo. Isn't this kind of the same color as that of that Victoria one we just had? Yeah. I think it's a little was, bit brighter, but yeah, yeah I think this one's better. The same. I don't uh, know, they're both awesome. Yeah. Next. Lex Luger Micro Brawler. There we go. That's this little guy. Hold up. Give me just a second. Let me get caught up with you. See if I can put up to it no shadow or no glare. Kind of hard, but hey, then don't forget the back. There you go. This trading card, we'll throw that up over here at Yonner. Next. Critical Botch. Yeah, the book comic book. Featuring we, AEW wrestlers. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was AEW wrestlers. Writing it all up and throwing it on some paper, and there we go. Oh, that looks like this one. That's Orange Cassidy right there. That's who that is. At the very beginning right there, that's Orange Cassidy. All right, we'll put that over here. Next. Brian Myers, autographed, 8 by 10 There it is right here. That's Kurt Hawkins. Right on. Hold on, give me just a second here. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it like this. I gotta put it in my autograph book. Next. Then get the nasty boys, two oh. piece lapel pins. There's these. There you go. Nasty, nasty boys. And Brutus Beefcake the grooming kit. Yep, yeah, right there. And then you know what? They're not talking about it. My my Lanny Poffo poem. Let's not forget him. All right, man. All right. That um, looks like that's all of it. Do you want to do this? <clears throat> Yeah, oh, sure. it says the month. Uh, the this month's charity, Don West against lymphoma. So, and it says it's a GoFundMe. If anybody would like to go fund uh, uh, Don West against lymphoma, um, and I think that's it, ain't it? Yep. And it said, uh, yeah, that's my top set off. Yeah, here's the card. So you see everything that's on there. Pretty nice. Sounds good. All right, man. I think that that wasn't too bad of a box. Um, what would you like best? My personal favorite was probably probably the uh, Leaping Lanny or, or the Moxley t-shirts. Um, both of them were really nice t-shirts. Um, the comic book was obviously nice as well. I think my personal would probably be... The Moxley T-shirt and the comic book. Those are probably my two. Did I? I mean, I like it all, but I think those two probably stood out more. Yeah. But anyways, that's our who we picked that we like. Um, if you wouldn't mind commenting, you tell us what you like best out of this crate. Um, otherwise, we gotta get get rolling from here. We gotta get a couple more of these done before it gets too late. I want to get these posted. So um, I think next we got high spots and. This, you know, this is for the month of August, so i uh, got a couple more high spots, and after that, I say goodbye to them, and man, I'm going to miss them, but, you know, they decided to go, I mean, they also have their, 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 they got a wrestling channel that they stream, they got videos that they send out, so they got other avenues, and I think this might just been, you know, one of the things was like, okay, we got to give something up here, we're kind of busy, I don't know, maybe not, but. It's really sad it's the merchandise that they're giving up, you know, the, the crates that they sent out. But that's all good, you know. I understand they got to do what they got to do. Uh, until then, we're going to enjoy all the stuff that they send. Yep. So, ROS2998, please subscribe. Tell anybody that you know that would like to maybe watch any of our videos um, who's interested into wrestling. Most of the stuff that we get is, is uh, independent wrestlers. They're no longer with the WWE or everybody else but them. Um... Let others know. Please like this video. Thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you have to. If you want to, I should say. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, um, till the next one. I think this one's pretty good, don't you? Yeah. I'm looking forward, to, looking forward to the next one. I think it'll be just as good. Um, until next time, I yeah. say that we need to bounce out of here and uh, go see if we can find another one. Awesome. Sound good to you? Yeah. All right, man. We will talk to you folks in a little bit. Thank you very much for... Uh, for watching, and uh, that's about it. Catch you on the next one, man. Thanks.